Hello everyone, it's me Vivian from the Paper Letter blog, also known as the Chatty Pen Pal channel, and today I'm going to show you how I make two Valentine's Day themed envelopes. Now get cozy, grab yourself a cup of tea or coffee and settle back or settle in, I don't know what the expression is. This is a shorter video where I will show you two Valentine's Day themed envelopes I have made uh, from start to finish. So the first thing I'm obviously doing is I'm creating an envelope out of vintage music note paper. This goes very fast and if you want to learn how to do this method then I suggest watching the previous uh, envelope decorating video I did or the tutorial where I show you how to make envelopes from scratch in three different ways. I love this specific method because you don't need a lot of fancy tools. I will link the videos down below if I haven't said so already. The second method I am doing is um, using an app called Envelope Punchboard Calculator to um, fill in the measurements of my project and then using obviously my Envelope Punchboard to uh, make said envelope. Mm. That's that. I know that, as I said, I have quite recently also done an envelope decorating video. I don't usually put two similar videos such as envelope decorating or wax seal making or PO box opening video. I always try to spread those types of videos a little bit apart so that people don't get tired of them. But since these are Valentine's Day themed, I didn't have a whole lot of time to uh, put other videos in between. So that is why I am uploading this quite fast after the previous one. Um, because of course Valentine's Day is right around the corner and I did not want to miss that because Pat's self on shoulder. I finally made a themed meal in time for me to actually also upload it because usually when I do like I don't know what kind of themes do you have like winter themed or fall themed I will usually start so late that I'm not actually in time to upload the video when it's still relevant so on my computer I have dozens of fall themed videos and winter themed videos that I'm hoping to upload next year simply because I didn't make them on time but this time I actually started quite early so I made it <laughs> um, I will explain what I'm doing here I am reinforcing the sides of the envelope because I used quite old paper once you fold that the sides go a little I don't know if brittle is the right word but I want to use the word brittle they go a little bit brittle so then I'm afraid that if they get like tossed around in mail they might tear open so I'm actually just using some washi tape to make the sides a little sturdier and also it just looks really really fun <laughs> it just looks really really fun and by the way uh, I love how this washi tape matches my nail polish just had to point that out mm. So there's that. What am I talking about? Today is once again scatterbrain day. I am pre-recording videos in case you haven't heard it yet because the blah, 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 blah. not a good day for talking. I just said so. Try again. Take a deep breath in and out and speaks more slowly Vivian so that you don't trip over your words. Um, I'm pre-recording videos like pre-editing videos because as you may have heard the Netherlands is going back out of lockdown, meaning my life will return to normal. I'm very excited about that. That also means that my job as waitress will go back to normal. So instead of takeaway, we will be able to serve guests again. And I look forward to that a lot because I still love my job. Um, but the thing is with change also comes anxiety so I'm just pre working on some videos first of all because I am anxious and it kind of helps me to do something uh, kind of to do something productive and the second thing is I know that I will be too anxious to craft or to uh, edit videos for a little while so that's why I'm working ahead now let me explain what else I have been doing I have a ton of Valentine's Day 
goodies that I just bundled together. I think I bundled them together three years ago. So I put all of them in a folder. I didn't, I don't want to say I forgot about it, but I just never had a good reason to take them out. So all of the goodies I'm showing you here are kind of old. The bluish envelope die cuts that I'm using are from an Etsy shop called um, we Heart Confetti, or it, w it was, it used to be called We Heart Confetti. They sold um, die cuts, but nowadays I'm pretty sure they only sell pins, like enamel pins. Did I pronounce enamel right? Animal? I don't know. Anywho, uh, I will try to find that shop down below. Like I said, I don't think they still sell these, but I do want to give credit where credit is due. So that's the die kits that I'm using here. I'm also using various other die kits from my personal stash or that I have received and that I have just bundled together and some washi tape samples that looked nice, such as the one with the lips, the kisses. I think that's so cute. <laughs> I finally have a good reason to use some red in my crafting. I never really do that, um, but I think it looked cute. Um, so I'm just adding some Nouveau drops while you can look at the top of my head. I've actually been pretty doing pretty okay with not showing my face in the screen and you know how I did that? I actually attached a little ribbon on my ring light so that it touches the, the top of my head when I'm in screen, <laughs> when I'm on the camera, but I moved it aside for the live stream I did with Patreon. So that's why uh, you can see the top of my head right here. <laughs> Now, I was just eating a kokos macaron, which is a coconut macaron, um, which is a Dutch delight, I guess. <laughs> um, my boyfriend brought that over, so that's why you didn't, why that all of a sudden arrived. Yeah, um, so there's that little life update, little cookie update, I suppose. This is me going to decorate the second envelope. The first one came together so fast the second one a little less fast i've sped up these videos um three and a half times which is oddly specific i know but i think this is right so that you can watch what i'm doing but you don't have to watch for an hour um but still this took <laughs> rather long so what i wanted or i was kind of set on using one of those girl stickers i have been collecting so i picked out a couple that i thought would look nice with pinkish reddish paper and then I was a little lost I didn't know how to go from here I wanted to use some vintage paper so that um, this envelope would match the one we made on a vintage map page but then I wasn't sure how to go from there so it's a little bit difficult but while you're watching me struggle I want to talk about Valentine's Day I am curious if you guys celebrate Valentine or maybe if you don't celebrate if you would like to celebrate it or if it's just something that uh, you kind of ignore for me it's the latter i've never really celebrated valentine probably also because i was single for most of my younger life um and i also think that there's kind of like these sad expectations that come with valentine's day because for example when i was in high school we would get we would have roses delivered to the classrooms you know you could purchase a rose for like one euro or something and then it would get delivered to the person you wanted to send it to so there was always this nerve-wracking moment when roses would get delivered to your classroom and you would be thinking oh my god do I have a secret admirer am I gonna get a rose and then it was always the popular kids who got roses and the rest of the class would just be sitting there awkwardly waiting for this moment to be over. I do have to say I always received roses from my friends. So I never had a secret admirer, or at least not that I know of. So yeah, I guess also here in the Netherlands, Valentine's Day is not that big. I know in some countries it's a really big thing. For example, in the USA, like there's tons of movie references I could mention uh, to Valentine's Day. But in the Netherlands, it's more seen as something commercial. And now that I do have a boyfriend, I found one who doesn't want to celebrate. But I get it. He just says that Valentine's Day is commercial BS. His words, not mine. And the fact is that my birthday is two days before Valentine's Day. So then he's like, you know what? You already got a present on your birthday. So <laughs> you don't get a Valentine's Day present. I guess that makes sense. I guess it makes sense. It is kind of commercialized. But 
that doesn't take away the fact that I love crafting with Valentine's Day theme for like pen pal letters or PO box replies because the colors are really fun. There's lots of hearts and florals and th cute things. And yeah, it's like the only time you're allowed to combine, or at least I think so, the only time you're allowed to combine pink and red and have it look cute because I always learned that red and pink clash, like they don't match, but in Valentine's Day crafting, it just looks kind of cute. So I don't want to insult anyone if you love combining red and pink. <laughs> uh, red is just not really my color, even though I'm using a lot of red in this post, uh, not post. I read the word post and then I said that out loud in this video. So here I'm lost again. I was already struggling so much with the layout of the paper and the doily and I knew I wanted to use the girl sticker but it looked a little sad and just empty with the doily so I'm just trying to figure out how to go from there and then once I find this one the happy valentine's day die cut I just decide to glue it down immediately because it looks relatively cute and I spent so much time uh, moving stuff around I was just, I just knew this looked good and I decided to commit to it. <laughs> so yeah, these two meals uh, were sent to subscribers uh, as a reply to my PO box. So two people sent a meal to my PO box and this is my reply. If you want to see, I almost forgot to plug this, but if you want to see the mail I sent in these envelopes you need to keep an eye out on my channel because i will uh, before valentine's day or on valentine's day i don't know yet depends on how much time i have i will be uploading a project chair where i will show you three outgoing valentine's day meals so obviously these two envelopes and their contents and then one more one of them we made during the patreon live stream so if you are a patron and you've been dying to see how I finished the project, we started uh, the envelope flipbook project, then I will also show you in that video. And then it's going to be kind of a three part series. I know, who am I? Normally I'm never on time for these kind of videos. And now I made three videos, but it's gonna be a three part series. So we have these two envelopes that I'm uploading now. Then we have the project share, which will be video number two. And then the third video will be on Patreon. It's um, me, it's like a process video of a miniature little pocket that I thought was absolutely adorable. I'm going to show you how I make that. And normally Patreon content is only for members obviously uh, for people who support my channel through Patreon, but this time I decided to upload this video for everyone to see. So for a limited time, this video will be open publicly. So really quickly need to add, of course, this video will also be online next week or whenever the project share video is online. So the Patreon video goes online at the same time as the project share video. Just wanted to make sure that that was clear. Even if you're not uh, a member of the Craft Club, a member of my Patreon, then you will still be able to see it. If you watch this video a little late, then it might have already been hidden for the two tiers I have, but um, hopefully you're on time to see it. It's just a small little project I thought was really cute. I just wanted to craft something uh, that wouldn't take up too much time, but that would be fun to send out regardless. So that is uh, my video for today. It's a little bit simpler because I'm hoping to do more of these while I'm transferring, <laughs> while I'm recovering from going back to normal life. Uh, but I hope you enjoyed it nonetheless. Okay, talk to you soon. Bye-bye.